On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Zephyr Clark Dahlberg with Miami Dog Training in Miami, Florida. Let's talk a little bit about cropping uh, tails and ears, otherwise known as docking. Um, you know, in a, in a lot of European countries right now, it's illegal. Um, so you, you tend to see uh, Rottweilers and Dobermans with ears and tails nowadays. Um, uh, for, for some dogs, um, it's, it's in their standard. It's kind of on paper what's required of that dog if it's going to be shown or in a show. And that would be maybe, uh, obviously not the European side, but, you know, in America now still, we have, you know, for example, Dobermans and Great Danes. Uh, when you see show dogs that are those breeds, you'll see them with their tails docked, t ears cropped. Um, in some breeds, it can actually be uh, beneficial to the dog's health, you know, and reduce infections, um, ear infections, fungal infections, uh, bacterial infections, uh, because uh, especially in some climates, like here in Florida, you have uh, a lot of the floppier-eared dogs are prone to yeast infections because of the humidity and, uh, and the heat down here. Um, you know, and not that, not that I would, you know, crop a dog's ears based on uh, the heat, but, uh, but some people do it for those reasons, um, you know. Uh, as far as the tails go, um, the tails, they typically balance better with their tails. Um, so that is one good thing about not cropping them. They, have, they tend to have better balance. So those are some things to think about when it comes to tail and ear cropping. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this has been Zephyr Clark Dahlberg. Thanks for watching.